This is JB's Baseball Cards with one blaster box of the new 2022 Tops Update series. Got this at Walmart for $24.98. I opened up one off the channel. I'm going to go ahead and just show a quick recap of that one. It's a pretty good box with no big hits, but got a couple good cards for a Cubs collector. Seiya Suzuki, true rookie, and also his rookie debut. Um, got a Julio Rodriguez, Stars of MLB. That's a good one. The batting helmet relic was George Springer. They also did these in Series 2. I'm a big fan. Uh, hopefully I can get a Cub one of these in one of these blaster boxes. Also got a Chrome Stars of MLB of you Darvish and an Eddie Matthews die cut. I like the die cuts and the Chrome Stars of MLB a lot. Go ahead and open this up. We've got seven packs, uh, 14 cards in each pack. Um, as you know, blaster boxes have increased in price this year. Used to be 20 bucks. Um, back a couple years ago, it was 20 bucks for 101 cards, including that relic. Uh, now it's, you know, you just get the 98. But I do like these relics a lot. It's worth it to me because the batting helmet relics are pretty cool. I also noticed they put the inserts on the front of the pack, or at least my front when I open them up. That's a Stars of MLB of Kyle Tucker. Hopefully I can get a lower number parallel than a gold. I did get one gold of a Yankees relief pitcher. Uh, but here's the design, same as Series 1 and 2, except it'll say Update Series here in the right corner with the U.S. in front of the checklist number on it. But a lot of good rookies in this set um, for the Cubs, Seiya Suzuki. I think there's a couple other rookies. There's a good one, Julio Rodriguez. Um, he's definitely probably the top rookie in this set. You also got rookie debuts of guys who are in Series 1 and 2, including uh, Wander Franco. O'Neill Cruz, guys like that. So, update series is usually one of the better ones. There's Andrelton Simmons, who did not play much for the Cubs. Then I would always suggest checking the card around the insert section for that number to see if it's a short print, or sometimes the advanced stats cards are not flipped over. Uh, but good pack overall with getting the Julio Rodriguez. I bet you those were a hot seller when they first came out. Um, I think I got this maybe a week or two after the hobby boxes um, came out, but I know the hobby boxes have risen in value. There's a Tim Anderson Stars of MLB. Let's see if we can get any good rookie cards. There's Clint Frazier, who played a little bit with the Cubs. I saw him in a minor league game, too, with the Iowa Cubs. That was cool. Some of these cards in the middle seem to have like some sort of lines on there. I think you can see it there, just down the center, like a stripe on them. So I'm guessing that was a manufacturing issue. And there's Seiya. So he's got three different cards in here, which that's pretty cool. At least three. The rookie, the rookie debut, and that one there. There's Michael Gibbons. Kyle Schwarber, ex-Cub. I'll take it. I got a 1987 insert of him in the first box. That one's numbered out of 2022. And then a C.J. Abrams 1987 card. I got a nice... Uh, Redemption of C.J. Abrams from uh, Monster Box of Top Gallery. So that was cool to me. There's a Max Scherzer, Stars of MLB. Shvidal Bruhan. I wonder how many uh, rookies got rookie debut cards. In years past, it would only be a handful, but I think last year they had a bunch got rookie debut cards. I guess they need to fill the checklist out a little bit. There's a Julio Rodriguez rookie debut. Solid. And then on the backs, this is going to be an insert. Uh, All-Star Game cards are, again, inserts. In years past, in Update Series, they would actually be a base part of the base set. So that's how they've changed it in the past. This is the thick pack. So I go right into it. This should have the manufactured batting helmet relic. That's a Mackenzie Gore, Stars of MLB. Looks like they're doing more rookies of those than they did in the first two uh, series, which I think was mostly just Wander Franco. And there was a Jerry Duran on top. Daniel Norris he pitched a little bit with the Cubs. I think he got shellacked against the Yankees and really didn't get a pitch much after that. MJ Melendez, I think, had a good year. There's a Wander Franco rookie debut. That's a cool-looking card. Rojas, Cole Irvin, Luke Williams, and an Astro here of Jeremy Pena, who was a World Series hero, so I'll take that card. 
I don't think it's a parallel. These can also have like blue and black and other types of parallels. Uh, but that's my batting helmet relic, and I like that one. And then a die cut of Warren Spawn. So I got two Milwaukee Braves. I wonder if Hank Aaron has a Milwaukee Braves um, insert, die cut insert like that. I guess that'd probably be the trifecta of the most famous Milwaukee Braves right before they left for Atlanta. Say a Suzuki. I'll take that. It's been a pretty solid box so far, I think. See if we can keep it going. Royce Lewis, who I think was the number one overall draft pick. I'm seeing a lot of these cards for the first time because I just opened one blaster and I saw those base cards. Happy to get some different ones. Let's see here. Hopefully I'll get a hobby box sometime. Miguel Castro and on the back is Luke Mealy. Yeah, a lot of backup catchers and just utility players get put in update series. The first two series, especially series one, is reserved for stars. And of course, you got Scherzer and Alonzo there on the cover. I feel like Topps is obsessed with the New York teams. They are located out of New York, so I'm guessing uh, most of their employees are Yankees or Mets fans. So I think they probably should have put someone else on the packaging, but they did what Topps wanted to do, I guess. Here's Javi Baez. Cool, that's one of his first cards in a Tigers uniform. I think that's probably his first, you know, flagship tops card in a Tigers uniform. I saw Anthony Rizzo is not going to re-sign with the uh, um, Yankees, or at least opt in. He's going to opt out of his contract. There's Ron Marinaccio, blue, uh, for the Yankees rookie card. Matt Brash, 1987 insert. And Tony Gonsolin. All-Star Game. Insert. So one pack left here. Still haven't got anything lower numbered than a gold. Oh, did I get a gold? I might. Yeah, I got one gold. Next, Schwarber. So out of two blaster boxes, nothing so far numbered lower than a gold. There was a Julio Urias uh, Stars of MLB insert. Dustin May. Elliot Ramos. I think it's a big prospect with the Giants. And I got another one of these blaster boxes coming up, so we'll see if all three don't have anything lower numbered than a gold. I'm guessing this was way overprinted. Bryson Stott rookie and Jake Odorizzi. So that's it. I think I did pretty well out of this box. Um, I'll show off the inserts and uh, cool base cards I got. And a little quick recap here. That Seiya Suzuki is cool to me. Wander, Vlad Jr., J-Rod. Kyle Schwarber Gold, who is also a playoff hero. And Julio Rodriguez base card. Got more All-Star Game inserts. I, I like the die cuts a lot. I've seen some people hate on them, but I think they've always been cool and I've always been a fan of them. Save the stars of MLB, but got the Jeremy Pena batting helmet relic, which I think is pretty cool, especially being a rookie card and also they won the World Series this year, which just happened a couple days ago from when I'm uploading this video or recording the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Please let me know if you think I did well out of this. And uh, thanks again for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Go Cubs.